Water and other pure liquids can sometimes be actually cooled below their freezing point without changing into a solid. This supercooling doesn't actually require unusual pressure but instead happens when there's nothing for the solid to actually form around. To change form, liquid generally needs a seed or a nucleus of dust, or impurity, or an already transformed liquid to coalesce actually around. This process is similar to what happens in carbonated water. In a clean glass, the bubbles only form fairly slowly. Place your finger into the liquid and the bubbles form instantly around it. Insert a Mentos and the effect is substantially more dramatic. In water, this process can often happen in clouds. All sorts of items can form condensation nuclei in clouds from salt, pollen, soot, sand and even volcanic dust. The sudden introduction of these or rapid disturbances of the air, say caused by an aircraft flying high in the sky, can create a dramatic effect called a fall streak hole. If these transformations take place in the middle of a cloud, say, as I said, by an aircraft flying over the top of a cloud, what, is, what will happen is that the visible water vapour, which normally forms a white fluffy cloud, will actually transform. Part of the cloud will turn into small ice crystals, and the rest of the water vapour will actually evaporate. The visible effect of this is to create a massive hole in an otherwise normal cloud. Due to the specific temperature, saturation and other conditions required for this to take place, they are actually rather rare occurrences. This has led to some people suggesting that they are actually created by UFOs, as it might look like a, a rocket has punched a hole through a cloud. Reality may be more mundane, but the scientific principles behind it are certainly nonetheless fascinating for all that.